This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. There are over 3,000 different species of snakes found worldwide. Of this 3,000, about 600 are venomous, and only around 200 are venomous enough to be considered medically significant in humans. Contrary to popular belief, the primary use of venom is to aid in the capture and digestion of prey. Venom is a precious commodity for snakes, and they'll only really use it as a last resort for self-defense. I like to say that there's no such thing as an aggressive snake, only a defensive one. Keeping all of that in mind, there are still some snakes that are extremely harmful and even deadly to humans. In this video, I'm going to share with you the five snakes that I believe to be the most dangerous on the planet. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. The first snake on our list is the Boomslang. Found throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, this small arboreal snake is Opisthoglyphus, or rear fanged. This means that the venom delivery system for the species is located in the back of the jaws instead of the front. Most bites from rear fang venomous snakes have a very mild effect on humans, usually just some localized swelling and a little bit of pain. But boom slangs have a highly potent hemotoxic venom, the effect of which sounds like a scene from a horror movie. The venom is very slow acting, and can take as long as 24 hours for the bite victim to notice any effects. Boom slang venom causes extreme hemorrhaging pretty much everywhere on your body. It results in excessive bleeding from the gums, nose, eyes, ears, and pretty much any other orifice you can think of. Existing cuts will reopen, and even tiny scratches will bleed profusely. Internal bleeding from vital organs is what eventually puts the bite victim out of their misery. But even though their venom is so gnarly, there's only been eight recorded deaths from the species. Boom slangs are very shy and quick move far out of the way if they see you coming. Almost all bites from this species happen either when someone's attempting to handle it who's inexperienced or a person's trying to kill it out of fear. Sharing some habitat with the boom slang is number two, the black mamba. Widely considered the world's deadliest, the black mamba is also Africa's longest venomous snake, able to reach an impressive 14 feet in length. This animal is so feared because it's lightning fast, deadly venomous, and tends to have a bit of a short temper. When they're agitated, they'll always try their best to escape but if you continue to bother them, they won't hesitate to strike. And when they bite, it's guaranteed envenomation. Many venomous snakes will give a dry bite with no venom as a warning, but black mambas don't bother with dry bites. Envenomation from a black mamba is certain death unless anti-venom is administered. The venom itself is a fast-acting neurotoxin that shuts down the nervous system and causes paralysis. Just as impressive as the mamba's venom is its speed. It can move as quickly as 12 miles per hour and maintain a speed of around 7 miles per hour over longer distances. But again, their speed is used to escape threats, not to chase humans. Number three on this list is a snake that isn't necessarily deadly, but unique and dangerous enough that I had to include it. This is the stiletto snake. Although it's less than a foot long and doesn't look as intimidating as some of the other snakes on this list, the stiletto snake is a species that even the most experienced handlers have to practice extreme caution with. That's because there's virtually no safe way to hold it. The stiletto snake injects venom without opening its mouth. Its fangs are hinged and swing outward, protruding from the lips, so attempting to grasp it behind the head almost always ends up in a punctured finger. If left untreated, the finger that was envenomated will literally rot off of your hand. Probably doesn't feel good. Unlike the other snakes on this list, the stiletto has no anti-venom, so medical treatment is restricted to just relieving the symptoms. The reason for their unique fang arrangement has to do with their feeding behavior. The snake's main food sources are small burrowing lizards and rodents nests. And when you're underground trying to envenomate something, there's not a whole lot of room to open your mouth wide enough for a clean strike. So having a fang hanging out the side of its mouth means that the stiletto snake simply has to brush its head past its prey in order to inject venom. Human interactions with this species are fairly uncommon because they spend almost all of their time underground. Almost all envenomations occur when the snake is being handled by someone who doesn't know what it is that they're dealing with. Number four is the snake that's believed to hold the record for most human deaths per year, the saw-scaled viper. This species is most common throughout the Indian subcontinent, but is also found in the Middle East and Central Asia. Bites from this species are so frequent because they're found in such highly populated regions, along with the fact that they're quick to strike when threatened. For such a small snake, it has an impressive strike range, and is able to lash out like a released spring with its fangs pointed forward. Its venom is hemotoxic, and a lethal dose for humans is between 3 and 5 milligrams, which is unfortunate because the average bite injects around 12 milligrams. Anti-venom does exist, but proper medical care isn't always readily available in the poorer regions of the snake's range. Luckily though, this species comes with a warning label. When the saw-scaled viper feels threatened and wants to make its presence known, it coils up and rubs its keeled scales together to produce a loud sizzling sound. So if you hear this, you might want to consider relocating yourself. The final snake on our list is the proud owner of the most potent venom of any snake, the Inland Taipan. 
This snake inhabits the black soil plains of Australia, in the region where Queensland, South Australia, and Northern Territory borders converge. One of the ways that this species has adapted to living in such harsh conditions is by changing its color depending on the season. During the colder months of the year, the inland taipan takes on a darker color to aid in heat absorption. During the warmer months, its color fades to a light brownish yellow to avoid overheating. Although it is the most venomous snake in the world, it has a very shy and reclusive temperament, a fact that is rarely mentioned. It almost never comes into contact with humans, and although there have been several bites attributed to this species, antivenom is easily accessible. In fact, there are zero documented human deaths caused by the inland taipan. The most venomous snake in the world has never killed a person. How about that? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics that you'd like to see in future episodes. Like Fibroid Animal Facts on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miller's Wildlife. Don't forget to subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff, and as always, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next week on 5 Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.